friends so have you ever heard of Facebook jail that's Facebook blocking you from doing certain things now I've been in Facebook jail more times than I can remember well maybe maybe not that much maybe five or seven times or something like that different reasons and different things and that's because as I learned to use social media I would I would do things that I shouldn't be doing that they don't want well that they don't want you to be doing right should you or shouldn't you do obviously if you want to be a good Facebook you know person person then there's lot there's lots of things you shouldn't be doing but if you're a marketer you're going to be doing things you're going to be pushing the envelope you're going to be doing things that maybe aren't considered great but they're also not that bad and then how far do you take it before you know Facebook blocks you and puts you in jail right so we're going to talk about we're going to talk about that what jail I'm in right now and how I can how you can avoid to be in that jail and I'll talk about other kinds of jails you can be in and we'll uh, we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So right now I'm in Facebook group jail so Facebook group jail uh, means well anyways I'm just calling it that I don't know what they if there's a name for it but it just means I can't post to groups that I don't own or don't manage and uh I'm, I get a message saying that I can't post right so and by the way we're going to be sharing the screen so make sure you go to cis329 dot j s g a g n o n dot com if you want to see the screen in the video if you're listening to the audio go and check that uh, link out to go see the blog post and the video where I'm going to be sharing the screen all right so let's just get right to it and show you exactly what I'm talking about so this <coughs> is what I uh, what I see if I try to share in a group I just tried to post a group to a group right now <coughs> and that's basically what it showed me <coughs> sorry it just showed me that and it says uh, you know I can't post to groups it says for two days and the way that Facebook jail works is if you do something that goes against their community standards right uh they're going to put you in in a, they're going to put restrictions on what you can do and you're going to get these kinds of messages whenever you try to do what they put a restriction on for you <clears throat> now the thing is that one of the things about Facebook is that the restrictions or what you can or can't do depends a lot on your past activity so if for example uh you're posting to uh five groups every single day then then if they're accepting that as okay which by the way is fine five groups a day is fine if you can share to those groups if you're allowed to if they're if you're not being marked as if you know first you don't want to share to groups you're not allowed the, by the rules of the group that is one of the things that you got to be careful of if you're trying to share to multiple groups you got to make sure that the group itself is a group that allows that and the thing is that's one of the things you got to do to prevent from going in jail but the point is that if you find that five groups you're allowed to post in you're not going to get this message uh and this message doesn't happen right away it's only after you've done too much of whatever they consider wrong for a certain while plus I'm not sure about this but I I'm guessing I'm assuming that somebody you know marked my post as spam in a particular group maybe they did it more than once and now all of a sudden they they you know they Facebook sees that as being oh he's doing something wrong because you know Facebook itself is not going to decide for you really what you do unless of course you're posting some really specific things and there's specific words or, and they're looking for those things so you got to be careful what you do but for me I'm just posting these the, I'm doing these videos right I'm doing these episodes every day and I'm sharing the episodes in groups because how do you how else are you can get people to see you if you're not sharing it in places right so what I've been doing is I've been sharing to about 20 groups every single day for for months for months for months and nothing nothing was wrong and just today or yesterday actually I got this message here saying that right so let's just show you if you if I then 
so then what happened is I got a notification I don't know if we can still find the notification in here oh look my video is on, on the other side if I can find the notification where it was a cup it was yesterday I think all these notifications uh there's so many uh there you go right here you have been restricted from accessing some features um go to your support inbox to learn more now if I click on this it doesn't always work on, like on my phone it doesn't actually work to click on it but on the desktop I get to this thing which I see uh, it says ends tomorrow at 1 30 right if I say uh can I see the actual so you can't even see the content I can click on learn more which takes me to this help page right let's just yeah that actually loads in the same page so it just gives you you know I'm blocked from doing something like posting sharing or something you may we may block people if they do things but the the truth of the matter is that it's not Facebook that's monitoring you they're looking at what others are saying about your stuff so that's why you got to be careful to not post in groups that don't allow that don't want you there right if they don't want you there they're going to mark you and then all of a sudden you're going to have these kinds of things happen to you right so um so that's one thing you got to be careful of you got to make sure so for me I probably didn't pay as much attention as I should have to the groups I wish I could show you actually I can show you on my phone so let's just go back here I just want to this is basically the inbox right the inbox this particular thing is in here and if I click on appeal I it won't it won't work right now because I've already done it I think oh I I guess I could say you know uh, why I think of the snare well I've been doing this I, anyways I would suggest you just do you don't say things like I I've been doing this for so long and why is nobody who who is it that blocked me and can you tell me more just say I don't know I don't know what happened um I didn't do anything different um don't know why this happened I haven't been doing anything different these these last few days so that's the thing uh, you just post just say something like that because you know if you start to try to ask and complain and whatever it's not going to help you right so just do that just something very simple like that thanks for providing feedback okay good thank you so much and they're just going to say whatever then of course they can take you to some other page but so let's say I want to show you how so the thing is that if I'm if I'm on Facebook right here let's go close this off this I was just doing a test here that didn't work I wanted to see if it did work so if I go back to say a post I want to share now there now the thing is that if I'm in groups right and I'm, I'm, if I'm in certain groups like if I look at my groups oh let's back up a little bit so first of all I want to say there's a lots of different Facebook jails you can be in the first Facebook jail I was ever in was the like Facebook jail so what happens is if you're if you're going through your if you're going through your news feed right and you're just like you're just liking everything right you just like everything and you do it too much after a little bit of time they're gonna actually going to disable your like button like you're not going to be able to click a like it's just going to not work you're not going to be able to do anything it's it's so you're not even going to get a notification it's just going to stop working for a little bit now if you keep trying to click it and you could do the same thing the next day and the next day and then eventually they might put you in in like jail right so you got to be careful not to do that too too much don't just don't just click everywhere and like everything just take time to actually read it and do a comment and you know that's what Facebook wants you to do they want you to be like interactive right they don't want you to just click 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 right and the thing same thing is if you ever get a tool installed that automates some of these things Facebook does not like that so you, if the tool just goes and likes everything that's not good the tool would at least need to to behave like Facebook wants you to <laughs> so there's you know like I'm doing a, a business with plugins extensions for Chrome and one of the things that that is really important for an extension is it has to be slow at doing the things it can't do it like a computer because Facebook will see that right away right uh so um okay so that's that's one Facebook um jail you can be in the other Facebook jail you can be in is messaging jail if you if you even if like me for example I one time I posted something that I that I <coughs> that I had lots of people interested in 
they commented like crazy on my post saying hey yes I want that I want that and the post <laughs> was you know one of those posts where you say if I could uh, show you how to do this would you be interested in finding out comment info for details right and the thing is with Facebook is if you put the link in there you're not gonna not too many people are gonna see it plus if you put the link in the comments there's not going to be that many people seeing either because the number of people that see your post is based on how many people comment on it right so if you have the link there well nobody's going to comment so it's not going to it's not going to go viral so that's why they say post a post tell people to comment info or more or whatever you want them to comment and then send them a message with the info with the link right <coughs> and the problem is I was getting so many people asking I don't remember 50 or something and, and I just oh I just went right to the messenger and I cut and pasted the exact same thing you know they're asking me for the link why can't I send them the link but the thing is that Facebook doesn't like you doing that over and over the same link they see that as oh the, he's spamming people he's sending the same link to all these people Facebook doesn't go and check that those people ask for it or anything like that and so that's that to me is totally super annoying obviously but what 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 can you do so you have to send a different message to the to the people you have to kind of space it out try not to do it all like say you have an hour to do it you can't do them all in that hour do maybe 10 of them right and then try to do another 10 later on and eventually after you get enough put the link in the comments but I mean the thing is that you're not going to get more requests right so you gotta or at least you're not going to going to get as many <clears throat> because they're going to see the link but it's also going to cause the post to not be shared I mean there's a whole bunch of other things but the point is that you can't be sending the same message to a bunch of people in a in a huge succession because what will happen is you're going to go in messenger jail which means you won't be able to send messages you won't be able to send messages for a little while right now the other thing to remember is that when you get in jail it's going to be for like two days and then it's going to be for like a week if you do it again and then it's going to be a month if you do it again and then maybe they're going to shut down your account right so you got to be careful make sure that you at least try to figure out why it is that they put you in jail in my case for the Facebook group let's just show you what I do uh and but first before I show you what I do on my phone I'm going to show you what it looks like on the desktop right so if I go to my um if I go to my my profile and I look for something I want to share normally every day what I do is I share the um episode that I post right so this for example is here I shared a live video from my playlist and it's connecting your funnel that's the video I shared yesterday which is js going was live right so on this one I just basically go and play it let's turn the sound off and then I just uh and then when you maximize it right click it again turn the sound off again there's a share right here right so over here I can click the share and I can go into a group there's no I gotta go more options share to a group right so in this there's a list of all the groups I can share right I can search for groups I can search for uh let's say master of simple which is one of my groups I just go here and I can share it right now the problem with that is that every single one of these shares I gotta go and type in whatever I want and I gotta then I click the post and then I gotta go back to there and I gotta go select it again the cool thing on the phone is that I can actually let's show you my phone screen here oh I got I lost my connection let's reconnect the phone oh, why did it do that I was hoping that I could just show you but of course there has to be something let's close that let's go back over here there we go so we're back here we're back in business let's make this go here I'm going to put it right over here okay so on the phone right on my phone same thing I'm going to go to my profile right and I'm going to go down to the post and this is exactly this is actually exactly what I do every day right I go in here and then I go to the post which is right here this video here um and then what I do is I play it Patience. I mean when you have let's turn the sound off then I go and I click on share right there right then there's a share to group that shows up now the cool thing about the sharing on the phone which is 
risky it can cause risk I actually take this and in here I type I type whatever I want to type right in there and I paste usually what I do is I actually oh sorry you can't close that <laughs> so I I type whatever I want in here normally I actually paste the, the the description and then I go in here and I and I find the group I want like for example um well I can go money right I got a whole bunch of groups that I'm part of right so now I'm not going to be able to do it it's going to give me an error right um let's get that out of there so now I'm these are my the money groups the groups I'm part of some of them I I'm sure there's one or two in there that I shared to that somebody complained about and marked me as spam so now that that flagged it to Facebook and they decided to not allow me to share so let me just see if I try to share let's say I share it here make money online let's share there it's going to give me an error I'm pretty sure cannot post the status at this time please check your connection and try again right now that's not what's happening the reason it's not working is because I'm in Facebook jail for groups so I can't share the groups but this is the way that it's like this is the cool the best way to share the groups is just click on the share 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 you just click on these buttons right share 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 and then it shares to those groups and you can do it really quickly and that's one of the dangers right of of being in in Facebook jail for groups you end up sharing too fast and then they put you in jail right so I'm just going to close this right now but that's kind of how whoops that's kind of how you end up sharing to groups really fast now what do I need to do right I need to go to my phone and I need to find out which groups are not allowing me to share so here's how I'm going to do it right now I'm going to go look to see which groups are not sharing my stuff so I'm going to go in here again and I'm going to click on the share share the group and I'm going to go do, 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 whoops why is that not loading up share to groups there you go okay I'm going to go in here I'm going to say money again now I've got these group names right here so make money from home right so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to search for make money from home that's one of my groups I'm in uh and hopefully that's so if I look at this group it says right here I'm in this I'm in this group right make money online I can actually go to this group I'm going to open it in the new tab I'm going to open this one in the new tab as well it says right here I'm in the group this if I'm not in the group if I click on groups you see the ones I'm not in are like this right the ones that I'm not in are like this the ones that I'm in are here so I might <coughs> so I've got make money online work from home business opportunities open link in the new tab so now I've got these three groups that I'm part of that have this the, the word money in them right now most of these groups they are spam groups they're groups that people post some stuff all the time in there right so they they're not people don't really care about what's in here but if you look at these groups and you look at what's in them see earn more than three thousand I'm gonna look <coughs> earn money online uh, I need people to show them a simple platform as you can see these are links to um you know viral videos pouring epoxy to transform kitchen counters okay <coughs> I'm not sure but anyways as you can see it's a bunch of different things this group here now the other thing is you can see that I I don't have any um any any posts that are pending in here right and that's the other thing if a if the group doesn't allow just regular posting and this is what I need to do I need to go through every single one of these groups <coughs> look at that it shows me right here that I posted this so this was posted in this group no problem so this one's fine right so this group is is probably fine if I go to this other one let me see if I can look at this other one why is it taking so long to load eh so slow so this one here still looks like a group that has a bunch of spam in it <coughs> so this is another group that has spam in it so now if I look I, I can go back to the search I had right here I want to see um any of these groups maybe that are affiliate marketing worldwide 332k oh no why is it 
how about just money let's just type money money let's just type money because that's what I do let's go to groups <coughs> make money online make money online I'm not in it there's 86 86 affiliate marketing worldwide so I, I'll have to look at the groups I'm in but let's me look at the groups on the on my phone here um success in making money online let's look at that one I want, actually let's go into my groups my own groups uh, <coughs> let's go straight to my page I just want to look and see I want to find a group that sh that that I should leave uh and I want to show you how I'm how I'm going to find that um yeah so let's do groups there groups okay groups and I want to search the groups can I I can't even search groups right that's a thing search oh yeah I guess you can search group so money is it gonna search groups for money I guess it's probably going to show me the same thing I was just in is there any way to say groups that I'm in no that's not what I want I don't want <coughs> two groups home I want to see the groups I am in my groups so this, this has changed from before right so these are groups I manage and these are groups that I'm in that I don't manage <coughs> it's not it used to be that you could actually go to your page and you can see the groups you were in in a, in a list let me see if that's still there no oh maybe here there's groups <coughs> public okay yeah there you go so let's just scroll through here get them all to show up and then we're going to look for money I'm in lots of groups right obviously that's the thing after five years how many groups you end up in right <coughs> it's an awful lot of groups it'd be nice if you could sort groups right by uh by number of people in them or by a certain word in it or something right but you can't Facebook doesn't let you do any of that stuff so because they want to control right so search for money right on my screen there's money right there in the group name money make money from home make money online revolution online world online profits online systems <coughs> public group generate leads and traffic so let's open link in new tab success in making money online I have no idea which group it is right but I'm just going to open some of these groups make money I, I should have to look at them all right I open that one that one's done so there would be one in there that somebody flagged me right <coughs> what else is there so I'm gonna have a whole bunch of tabs open that's gonna cause my computer to slow down uh, okay so now if I look here this one is good nothing in here star lords star loads hmm. this one is a spam group for sure this one is a spam group I'm in there this one is a spam group as well <coughs> this one here there's 99 announcements and wow that's a lot new activity so a bunch of spam in here too yeah so I'm like I said I'm just trying to find a group 
that has my posts pending to be to be shared right okay so this is actually a group that's part that was created by somebody who's in my lead system pro because that that um but as you can see it's still a bunch of spam in there right who's that why is this there a bunch of times <coughs> so somebody definitely spammed this 17 hours or maybe it's the same post somehow the the display is not working <laughs> well there's my post right here so that's not the, that's not the bad group right let's close these ones off to save uh, memory on my computer <coughs> another announcement there yeah so I, I know there's a group that I'm in that says that it's my post has been submitted right some and that's the thing that's the difference if you have a group that just lets you post it'll show up as just posted it'll just show up and then if it's a if somebody flags it a spam it's going to become you know <coughs> mark the spam right uh, this is not very quick but this is how this is one of the ways that you would prevent from being in first of all in Facebook jail if you're posting on Facebook um all the time if you're posting on Facebook all the time and in groups one of the things you got to be careful of is the frequency that you do it and how fast you actually end up sharing in groups right if you share in groups well I do like I do that like every when I first started I was sharing to five groups right and then for a couple of weeks I shared to five groups and then afterwards I started sharing to like 10 groups right for another couple of weeks and then I did to 15 groups for another couple of weeks then I did to 20 groups and now I'm doing that's what I'm doing now 20 groups or so right around the 20 group mark and I could probably go to 25 after uh, I get this but if I'm getting some people marking my stuff as spam I won't be able to go more right there's my other post right here it's it's here there's no I don't know you know there's other people posting things right this is like it's it's a spam group so it's, it's it's fine um but you still have to make sure that you uh, these are different groups they're just loading up real slow <clears throat> and that's just how it is with the computer right the computer is slow um, ask for money and help maybe that's that's one that people don't like why did that not show up in my list of groups so ask for why is it not in my list of groups huh interesting okay so ask for money ask for money groups there this one here so this one here ask for money and help eh? that's interesting I'm not I'm not really posting stuff on to ask people for help or or offering help I'm just uh, doing I'm just doing um this group might not be a group I should be in right because it's I'm not really oh I mean my stuff teaches but it's not really to help people with that one money now right people in here are probably looking so that might be one that I shouldn't be in it doesn't say though that I have posts that are um can I search for myself in here <coughs> So let's just see because this would be a good and this would be a way to look for this as you can see I'm not in here yeah so people are deleting my post or whatever and they're not accepting it anyways okay so let's this is one way this is 
one of the groups I should not be in so I'm going to leave this group so I just leave the group that way it makes sure that I don't post in it again because <clears throat> I don't I you know I could I could be in there but I'm going to do that leave the group okay so that's a group that I can get rid of there we go that's another group is there another group make money online generate leads make money mm, ask for money and help make money online make money online world success in making money online okay I think that's so it's kind of weird why wasn't it showing up in my group list why is this taking so long to load come on just go ahead and load it's too much going on right but anyways yeah so that's kind of how you prevent yourself so first you got to pace yourself you got to make sure it you take the time to actually you know to actually get in in the Facebook um, groups by making sure there are groups that uh, that are um accepting of spam if you consider what well I mean what you're you you are a marketer you're posting things regularly you're not necessarily it's not necessarily spam unless somebody thinks and flags it as spam so if you're posting to groups that accept posts from every others then that's that's okay but if you're posting to groups that they don't want it then you become spam and then they flag you and then they can put you then Facebook can put you in jail so you got to make sure you don't do that right that's kind of what you got to do got to make sure you don't do this um you know don't have this problem so that's how you prevent it then then of course if you're if it's your Facebook group jail like me go look at the groups you've been posting make sure you're not posting in groups that you shouldn't be posting in and that's how you avoid Facebook jail or make sure you're not in it right so yeah so that's that's the episode for today if you have any questions of course you can always reach out and comment below if you have any comments about it or questions and we'll see you in the next episode have a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.